in a world where swipes and smiles are a click away. Genuine human connection has become the casualty. Buried under selfies and screens, a pervasive problem has been spreading nationwide, infiltrating every pocket and person across the land. It's called loneliness. Once considered a private struggle, loneliness has exploded into the most significant public health crisis you've ever heard of. Over half the population now battles chronic feelings of being alone. But how did loneliness go from an individual issue to a full-blown national epidemic almost undetected? Here's everything you need to know about the current loneliness epidemic in America. Alarming Rise of Loneliness and Isolation in the U.S. The hidden threat of loneliness has quietly spread across America. What began as private struggles have now been brought to the spotlight by alarming statistics that confirm we have an epidemic on our hands. According to the Surgeon General, loneliness represents a true public health crisis with severe consequences if left unaddressed. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic thrust loneliness into the spotlight. As isolation orders separated friends and family, surveys found over 31% of Americans often felt lonely, on par with countries like Brazil and Turkey. And while lockdowns have lifted, the sad statistics have not. In 2022, polls showed that a full quarter of adults believe loneliness has become a crisis in America. Another 62% recognize it as a severe problem, while according to 11%, it's not a problem at all. Then, repeated research exposed how loneliness has actively grown over the past decade. As of 2023, a troubling 17% say loneliness grips them daily. It is lower income individuals and women who report grappling the most with loneliness. What makes this epidemic so tricky is that prolonged loneliness doesn't just hurt our feelings, it harms our health. Multiple investigations link loneliness to increased risk of heart disease, dementia, diabetes, and even early death. It can also exacerbate depression, addiction, and suicidal thoughts. Clearly, loneliness has steadily infiltrated the US, casting a shadow over millions of lives. As a society, we can no longer ignore this silent epidemic. Progression of Loneliness Over the Years While loneliness in America has undoubtedly been exacerbated by the isolating conditions of the COVID-19 pandemic, experts warn this issue has been steadily growing for decades under the surface. As Surgeon General Dr. Murthy points out, social shifts over the past few generations have disrupted traditional support systems and left many feeling disconnected. Back in 1950, academics like sociologist David Reisman were already identifying loneliness as a consequence of people prioritizing their public health image over quality connections. Work from that era shows the post-war period introduced new anxieties that would seed further isolation. Fast forward to the late 80s, and sociologist Ray Oldenburg described communities losing their third places, locations outside home and work where socializing occurred naturally. Oldenburg's observations proved prophetic, as data confirms third places continued their decline well into this century. At the same time, sociologist Ray Putman publicized research in 2000 showing steady drops in group activities and memberships. He tied this partially to rising television addiction, but now social media has turbocharged solitary digital distraction over fundamental interactions. Murthy's findings reflect this, with youth experiencing 70% less in-person bonding compared to 20 years ago. While the pandemic necessarily worsened conditions through lockdowns and business closures, underlying trends were already pushing isolation higher for decades. Declining third places, loss of community structures, and technology replacing face-to-face -face connections created a perfect storm. The rise of single-person households, now approaching 30% of the population, has further fragmented support networks. As these social shifts gathered momentum, loneliness quietly became ingrained unless purposefully addressed. Most Significant Cause of Loneliness in the U.S. 
There needs to be a quick fix for a crisis that has been growing under the radar for decades. But the first step is illumination, and experts are shedding light on the social shifts facilitating loneliness's spread. Renowned psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier explains that our growing reliance on technology for interactions has shifted us towards more superficial online connections where important social cues can be missed. As Dr. Gardier observed, the long hours many Americans work leave little free time to maintain meaningful relationships, which are so crucial for our well-being. Even when we do have flexibility in our schedules, work often remains a higher priority than relaxing with family and friends. Research confirms loneliness has been on the rise for decades. Studies show that the number of close friends reported declined sharply between 1990 and 2021 as social activities decreased. Younger adults today, who came of age in a digital world, experience loneliness at exceptionally high rates compared to older generations. One key contributing factor is the overuse of social media, where people mainly present polished versions of their lives. This constant exposure to others' idealized highlights fuels unhealthy social comparisons and isolation. Unless we recognize how societal changes have disrupted traditional community structures and encouraged more superficial digital interactions over authentic bonds, experts warn it will be difficult to reverse the growing isolation epidemic facing America. Societal and Economical Consequences for the Loneliness Epidemic as experts have rightly warned, the consequences of widespread loneliness are profoundly severe. Dr. Jeremy Noble noted the world is facing a very worrisome loneliness crisis with extensive ramifications. Financially, loneliness takes an enormous economic toll. According to research, social isolation among older adults alone accounts for over $6.7 billion in excess Medicare spending annually. This largely stems from increased healthcare utilization, like hospitalizations. Beyond direct medical costs, loneliness is linked to lower academic performance in children and worse job productivity in adults, per multiple studies. Related absenteeism costs employers an estimated $154 billion per year. The impacts also damage communities. As a recognized social determinant of health, Loneliness undermines the overall population's well-being. It weakens community resilience during crises and threatens safety, prosperity, and good governance. From a public health perspective, the consequences are devastating. The American Heart Association and Surgeon General stress loneliness raises heart disease risk by 29% and stroke risk by 32%. It further increases premature death risk by over 60% and decreases self-care behaviors. In total, loneliness is calculated to cost the U.S. economy approximately $406 billion annually, according to research, in addition to the $6.7 billion in annual Medicare spending on socially isolated older citizens we discussed earlier. The Key Solution to Addressing the Loneliness Epidemic while the loneliness crisis feels overwhelming, experts stress there is hope. The first step is recognizing that so many people suffer from loneliness and it does not define one's worth. Dr. Murthy notes that small daily efforts like dedicating time to listening to loved ones can genuinely help prevent feelings of isolation. Volunteering and focusing attention on others also lifts both spirits. On a broader societal level, institutions must adopt proactive strategies. Schools, workplaces, and healthcare providers can all screen for loneliness as routinely as depression. Through social prescribing, which the UK has successfully implemented, doctors can refer patients to community organizations addressing loneliness partners with healthcare facilities. Beyond the health sector, communities must raise awareness and foster connection through infrastructure and online spaces. Most importantly, Dr. Murthy emphasizes overcoming loneliness demands unity and cooperation across all parts of society. By prioritizing social connectedness through compassionate awareness and multi-level support systems, experts believe the loneliness epidemic ravaging America can finally be reversed for the benefits of public well-being.
All in all, the fight against loneliness demands a two-pronged approach, foster real-world connections and harnessing technology's potential for good. Yet, a more profound question emerges. In this digital age, are we confronting a fundamental shift in human connection itself? Or is loneliness a symptom of a world that has forgotten how to cultivate meaningful relationships, both online and offline? The answer may lie in rediscovering the essence of connection, the vulnerability, empathy, and shared experiences that transcend physical distance and digital filters. By embracing these core human values, we can bridge the divide and build a future where connection thrives, not despite technology, but because of our conscious choice to use it for good. And that's a wrap. Till next time, peace out.